Okay, hi guys, and welcome to today's show. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five essentials for the up and coming fall season, uh, this autumn season. Well, I mean, I say fall, autumn, it's still 75 degrees outside, but wherever you are, it's probably changing already. Um, so I thought I'd share with you my, my fall essentials. Now, a lot of YouTube channels are doing this, uh, you know, things like um, leather jackets, uh, shoes, all the rest of it. But I thought I'd kind of throw my hat in the ring. I haven't done a sartorial uh, themed video for quite a long time. A lot of you have been requesting it, so I thought I'd do one as well. First thing first, wristwatch check. I am indeed wearing the Saab, still on the emerald green strap. As you can see, this is a genuine crocodile. Actually, I can't remember if I chose the shirt first. Uh, actually, I did choose the shirt first because this is one of my essential items and I've matched it with the green. That's wristwatch check done. Let's roll the intro and get into today's video. Okay, welcome back guys. So, my top five essentials for this fall season. Well, we'll start at number five, and like I mentioned, it is my shirt. This is from Brooks Brothers. I didn't buy this this year, I actually bought it last year. They have us a really great selection of long-sleeved polo shirts. You guys all know I love my Lacoste polo shirts for the spring, the summer, but winter and autumn, I tend to change over to these. My particular favorite ones are the silk and merino wool combinations. Beautiful stitching, the quality is absolutely top. I love Brooks Brothers, American brand, very tastefully done. I go for a medium, I like a bit of a loose fit. I don't like clothes being too tight. I know I have a bit of a, a 1930s aesthetic, so I don't like clothes too tight. I don't want to look like an extra from uh, Jersey Shore or some god awful program like that. So I like a bit of a looser fit. It's also with these uh, silk and, and wool blends, feels a little bit luxurious, you know. I have a black one. Uh, this is one of my favorites, the, uh, the pink, $128 around that, about that kind of price range. But you can pick them up on the Brooks Brothers website. If you keep an eye on their sales section, sometimes they have them on offer. If you can't find them on the Brooks Brothers website, check out eBay. There's always uh, surplus stock going for cheap. In fact, I've got a few of mine on eBay as well. Uh, the wool ones, as I said, like this one is very, very warm. Almost just wear a jacket over this. And talking of jackets, this is one of the best things about this shirt. You can dress them up, dress them down. I love long sleeve polos. So let me just show you what it looks like dressed up. Okay, and here you have an example of dressing this kind of shirt up a bit. I went for a black one this time, uh, so exactly the same. I think this is a silk and wool blend. I've dressed it up by adding a jacket. This is a Prince of Wales patterned jacket, and I think it, it works. It looks smarter, right? So, uh, you know, even with more sportier jackets, can get a whole different look. Anyway, let's change again and look at something a little bit more casual. So as you can see with a nice leather jacket, they're very, very comfortable and they keep you warm. This is another buy from Brooks Brothers, very tastefully done. That's what I love about their clothes. It's just very classic, you know, and classic stuff age as well. It will all look good next year. That's why I'm still wearing last year's shirts. It would just, it would always look good. Anyway, let's try another combination. So as you can see, even with a military style field jacket, it, you know, you can dress it down. It looks more casual, a little bit younger in appearance. And also this is a very practical jacket for walking the dog, that kind of thing. This kind of season, I try to go to with earth tones, right? I've matched it with the, the strap on, on my watch and of course my belt. This is a beautiful suede leather luxury belt from Avalone in uh, New Jersey. I actually reviewed this, so have a look back in my previous videos. Handmade in Italy, 
luxury leather belt. So as you can see, I've carried on that green theme, very autumnal colors, right? Okay, so what is next in my list? Well, it's gotta be shoes. Now, as you guys know, I'm paying off this huge medical bill. So I haven't got the, uh, <laughs> the Crockett and Jones budget, the John Lobbs, the churches, uh, budget that I would that ideally like but last year I tried this brand Cole Hands and they're an American brand established in 1928 I was really pleasantly surprised this is the Cambridge Chucker boot it's a suede beautifully done very tasteful very classic at first glance you think oh you think it's, it looks quite similar to um, British shoes um, so Last year I bought my first pair and I was blown away. Now this pair, I think I paid about $128, which considering the how well they're put together, they've even, they've even nailed in, which is usually a good sign. And it's even stitched, so it's not cheaply done. It's, they're actually, the construction and quality is really, really good. I, I, was, I was very, very surprised. I've gone for the uh, chocolate brown, slight Cambridge pattern there. Very, very nicely done. Again, autumnal colors, matches the green. It's entry level, it's not anything luxury, but it's classic, it's tastefully done, very well put together. And it's not breaking the bank. So, you know, I don't really buy shoes that often. So for me, absolutely perfect. Okay, so what is next? Well, it's fall, it's autumn, uh, even though it is still relatively hot here, uh, I know it's gonna dramatically change in a few weeks. Uh, so out are the rubber straps, the NATO straps, the bracelets, and in is the leather straps. Now this is a prime example. This is a, a genuine crocodile. Recently done a whole video with a bunch of strap options. Ostrich grain, lizard grain. For me, autumn is absolutely strap season. You can have so much fun, and the best thing is you can match, like I've done with the belt and the shirt, and you know, greens, you can really have fun, bring a whole new life to a watch by changing out the strap. And the best thing is because it's not hot and humid, you're gonna sweat less, you're not gonna muck up the strap as much as you would in summer. The shirts were number five, the shoes were number four, number three has got to be my leather straps. Okay, so what is my number two? Well, it's got to be, now please don't laugh at me, but this is new to me as well. It's gotta be skincare products. Guys, I'll be absolutely honest, I never use anything like this. As you know, my good friend Aaron, well, you may not know, but he started this company, it's called Tej Hanley or Tej Hanley or something like that. It's a collaboration between him and some chemists. There's a bit of a stigma about it. You know, the whole metrosexual thing, even for me, I, I, don't, I don't go in for any of this stuff, but it works for him. I trust him. He really knows his stuff when it comes to this, this kind of thing. I realize I'm not getting any younger. My skin is not looking as good as it is, especially now, you know, I've still got a bit of a summer tan. I'm moving into autumn. My skin is not gonna look great in that transitional period until I'm uh, <laughs> as transparent as a ghost. What better time to change my skincare routine? Now, I'm gonna give this a month and then I'm gonna follow up in a month and share if this has been any good or not. So this isn't a full review. I think I need to make that effort. It's like a five step program that you do every day. Daily face wash, bedtime moisturizer, a twice per week facial exfoliating scrub, firming serum, I don't even know what that is. Anti-aging eye cream, fantastic. This is what I need. This is what, thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Morning facial moisturizer. And it's got SPF as well, which is, I do actually need that. So, cause I don't do anything. I'm a caveman, you know, <laughs> so I need to change. And in a month time, I'll follow up. I'll do a video, I'll do a full review of that. And I'll share with my honest opinions, if it's any good or not. So that is my number two, my skincare routine. Uh, so another essential, but what is my number one? Well. Let me show you. This is the black Ventile Mac. This is the second version, I believe. Especially in this, in this season, you need something waterproof, you need something windproof, but it's not quite cold enough for, you know, the heavy stuff, right? So I really needed a Mac because I actually, I don't have one. I have a sports Mac, sports style Mac, but I wanted something a little bit more, uh, a little bit smarter that if I had to wear, 
dress formally, I could put this on the top, but at the same time, I can still wear this uh, taking the dog for a walk. It'll be durable and tough enough for that. This is from a brand called Private White VC, and I'll just show you the, uh, the logo. Made in England. Uh, they're a brand I've had my eye on for quite a while. As you can see, the logo, it is the Victoria Cross. Now, as you guys may be aware or not, uh, I have a family member who also fought and died in World War I who earned a Victoria Cross. And this company is actually named after Private White uh, VC who also earned a Victoria Cross. So there's a little bit of kind of patriotic pride there. But above that, the brand is extremely tastefully done. Now, when I received this, it came in a beautiful packaging. I'll make sure I share it on the screen so you can see it now. It was beautifully wrapped in this kind of uh, wartime themed comic book, but uh, it, it was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like it. They included a catalog, I had a look, and it's just gorgeous. That classic British outerwear, um, and I just adore them. I think it's very, very smart. And like I said earlier in the video, classic clothes like this, you know, it's worth spending because the quality's there, it will last for your entire life. Ventile, I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing it right, but Ventile basically is uh, a completely waterproof and wind resistant material. So it's a modern take on their most celebrated design, expertly handcrafted in Manchester in their factory. Uh, it's a timeless raincoat and it uses the finest quality cotton Ventile. Also boasts copper hardware from Riri, I think it's pronounced which is from Switzerland. So this is actually uh, a military grade zip and I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's, it's very robust. There we have the inside, as you can see, just unbelievable. Now it does come in eight sizes. This is the small, uh, which suits me wonderfully. They've even put the VC logo on the buttons. It's just beautifully done. So we got, we got buttoned inside pockets, one on each side, pockets on the outside, very simple, elegant, uh, but still robust enough, light. Now it's designed a smidgen larger than your size because it's designed to actually, so you can put a suit, wear a suit under it. Uh, so it is, you know, it's not supposed to be very tight form fitting. It's single breasted, as you can see with the buttons and then zip, I'll just zip it up so you can get an idea what it looks like. You're gonna see me in about a million videos walking the dog. 595 pounds, uh, but as I said, this is the kind of thing that you buy once in a lifetime, you have your whole life. I mean, I could see my kids wearing this, you know. It's about time I had a proper, proper Mac. And I think it's worth every single penny. Now I'm trying to think, my, I can't remember the exchange rate, what 595 pounds is in dollars, but I'll leave that to you to work out. It's forecast rain for the entire rest of the week, so I'm gonna be wearing this and really testing it. Ah, oh, I mean, it, this kind of clothes makes me proud to be British. It's such a, it's that kind of brand. I'll leave details in the description and, and a link uh, to all the products I featured I think the shoes are on Amazon. This you can get from their website. I'll leave a link to the uh, skincare products, although I haven't, I can't uh, endorse that yet because I haven't, you know, that's gonna take 30 days. Brooks Brothers shirts you can get on um, Brooks Brothers, their main website, or have a look at eBay as well. And for the watch straps, well, I've done a whole other video for that. There'll be a link as well, and the links all the different watch straps are in the description of that video. So I'm gonna leave it there. Don't forget to add your favorites and essentials for the up and coming fall season. Of course, I missed out a whole load of things, uh, but this is my personal list. You know, I could have done leather jackets, could have done umbrellas, scarves, hats, maybe a nice lock and co hat perhaps. Uh, but anyway, please let me know yours down in the comments, questions, queries opinions, all the rest of it. What are your favorite items that I shared? Please let me know down in the comments. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.